Let's talk about what an inverse is in math. Now, oftentimes, we're given a function, f of x, in this case, 4x plus 3. I picked a real easy just line. And, you know, we say, okay, well, what's f of 2? We say, okay, well, just plugging 2 in for x, I get 11. You know, what's f of negative 3? Well, 4 times negative 3 plus 3 is negative 9. Something like that, where we're just given the x to put into our function. And then oftentimes, instead, we say, well, if I told you that the function was equal to 7, what's x? And you've been taught to say, if the function is equal to 7, I can quickly solve for x just using my algebra. So x is 1. But imagine if you were asked to do this over and over again. You know, you're, the next question was, okay, well, now f of x is uh, 23. Or now, now f of x is negative uh, 41, something like that. And given more and more problems to solve, it would get tedious to have to continuously solve each one of these when the process really is always the same, no matter what we would do, we'd say, well, if our function is equal to a number, we would subtract the 3 and then divide by 4. Whatever number you give me, I'd subtract 3, divide by 4. Subtract 3, divide by 4. So an inverse is usually denoted this way. We say like that, the little negative 1, the inverse of a, of a function. And in this case, that idea we came up with where you say, well, if you gave me this number, like over here we, gave, we got 7, all I would do to solve every time is subtract 3 and divide by 4. Just every time, subtract 3, divide by 4. So we'd say whatever number you give me, I'd subtract 3 and divide by 4. That is an inverse. And how I always think about that is, an inverse is we were given the y value or output value and we needed to find the input value. And instead of continuously doing that one problem at a time, we come up with a formula that does it for us. So we can just plug in 23 minus 3 divided by 4. Negative 41 minus 3 divided by 4, in this case. 7 minus 3 divided by 4. We have a nice, quick formula to do it to generalize. And that is what an inverse is. That generalized solve for x formula. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe for more math help.